And once we have an electrochemical gradient, how this all basically works is the protons move through ATP synthase. Uh, however, some protons are allowed to go through a, a phosphate translocase symporter, so this pulls phosphate gr uh, groups into the mitochondrial matrix and then as ADP comes in it com it's combined using the ATP synthase with this phosphate group to create ATP then that ATP is transported out this is a an antiporter because ADP comes in as ATP goes out and so this is very important because when you think about uh, what would happen if in a backup so if ATP wasn't being transported out and ADP wouldn't subsequently come in. So it's kind of a one-for-one one exchange. And a backup of ATP, so if you have high ATP, it's going to slow down the ATP synthase, which means hydrogen is not going to be able to pass through ATP synthase. And because hydrogen isn't passing through, the energy to, uh, of an electron to pump a hydrogen across the membrane is going to increase as the hydrogen ion concentration increases. So it's going to so as the electrons are bouncing from complex one to two to three to four, it's pumping several hydrogen across until the concentration of hydrogen is so high that the energy lost by the transfer of an electron is equal to the energy uh, that it requires to move one more proton across. At that point, the um, electron transport chain stops and waits for the hydrogen ion concentration to decrease. If the electron transport chain stops, then you have a backup of FADH2 and a backup of NADH. All of this signals back to the citric acid cycle or the TCA and if you remember right, high concentrations of NADH, high concentrations of FADH, high concentrations of ATP all feed back in and stop the TCA cycle. So what would cause um, ATP not to be able to exchange with ADP? What would cause that to stop is that if ADP wasn't being used out in the cell, so you have a buildup of ATP out in the cell, ATP isn't being used so it can't be converted back to ADP and transported in. Uh, that would also mean that there was a lack of phosphate to be transported in, so you wouldn't have the extra phosphate group to transport in. So all this is signaling back and saying, hey, I have enough energy, so stop doing this. So the fact that electron carriers are oxidized and recycled back to the TCA cycle, uh, is, it only occurs if ADP is simultaneously phosphorylated to ATP, and uh, this tight coupling of electron uh, transport to ATP synthesis is called uh, respiratory control. And so that's what respiratory control means, is that there's a tight coupling between uh, the production of ADP to ATP and the transfer of electrons. And so you can kind of see that it's it's not only just a signal to an enzyme, but it's just a lack of substrate that's causing the TCA cycle to end as well. So if you don't have electron transport going on, you don't get any NAD and FAD re, uh, re, um, uh, replenished. And so since there isn't any of these substrates, it prevents the cycle from moving forward. Like, oh, I don't have this. I can't move past that step where these are required. 